Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Gomeset. Today we'll see one of the top 10 PLSQL interview questions and answers. So if you are preparing for interview, these questions are very, very important. This will be handy to you. Okay. So let us discuss. Okay. What's the first question? The first question is that what? Which tool or ID used for PLSQL or database development environment? So in a sense, like what ID is nothing but integrated development environment. If you want to develop anything, compose it out, tools we should have. Okay, so we are having what? We're having Oracle SQL developer, PLSQL developer, and tool. Okay, so out of these three things only, we should work. Either Oracle SQL developer, PLSQL developer, and tool. Okay, so most use these three things only in the real-time project. Okay, you need to say any one of these things. Okay, so this is one thing. Okay, second one is that what? Okay. To see the result of DBMS output package in SQL developer tool. Okay, if you're if you're writing anything, you no, know, like suppose if you want to execute any processor or function or package, so by using DBMS output, we need to test something. Okay, so in our test, we should use okay, we want to see the result on the console, we should use what? Set server output on. Okay, by using this thing, okay, we want to enable by using how can you enable by using set server output on. Okay, by using this only we can able to see the result on the Okay, so got the point. Um, so only in SQL developer tool we need to enable this set server or put on. Okay. So this is the third question. Third question is that what? What are the various ways to call processor? This is compulsory question and real time also will use it. Okay, so how can I call a processor? Okay, so there are so many ways. One is by using exes exes processor name. Okay, or by using execute processor name. And one more thing, call processor name. Or by using anonymous block. Okay, begin processor name and uh, yeah, okay. see in a similar fashion. So using named block. Okay, see one more time. This is very, very important. See, we'll see one more time. Okay. So what are the various ways to call processor? Okay, so one is by using exec processor name. So other one execute keyword. And third one is the call processor name. Okay. And fourth one is by using so we can able to call by using anonymous block. Okay. So begin. We should mention the processor name and we need to put end. Okay. In a similar fashion, we should use Name to block either processor or you can from another person you can able call or from another function you can able call or from package. Okay, so name block in the sense like what processor function and package you got to put. So this is very very important. Okay, they will ask okay how can we call processor? What are the ways by using exec execute call anonymous block under name to block. Okay. In a similar fashion, we'll see the next question. So next question is that what okay so like okay it's a print one two numbers one to ten numbers using PLS reports. In SQL, we can able to use by using connected by level. Okay, so but in PLSQL, by using what concept? We should go for looping concept. Okay, see, so they want us like I am using by anonymous block. Okay, so begin. So what we want? We want to print one to ten. So for i in one to ten. Okay, loop. So DPMS output to see the result on the answer. Okay. So if you want to see the result, we should use set server output. On. Okay, see one more time. So begin and this nothing but this is an execution block. So this is a loop for we can able to put any name of okay, A, B, C. Okay, so for I in one to ten loop. Okay, loop and loop. And we this is for used to see the result on the console. Okay, see we need to pass here. Okay, if we want to print one to ten, we want to hundred, we should use instead of ten, we should use hundred. Okay, you've got the point. Um, so begin for I in one to ten loop and loop, we should use DBMS output. So clear so far end dots as no, so same thing. In a similar fashion, one more question is that what? Okay, so one more question is that so print to 10 to 1 numbers here. Yeah. So in a re reverse manner. So just now, see earlier we have seen one, 1 to 10 numbers, but what? So inter expect 10 to 1 in reverse manner. You see, same thing. Okay. So same thing. Okay, just we should use extra keyword that is a reverse. Okay, reverse. Okay. So go to the pointer. So like this. Okay, so same thing. Begin for i in a reverse 1 to 10. Loop DBMS output and loop and okay. So in the last okay. Look without using reverse keyword can can retry. Okay, so they're not what like simple okay. See, we are using reverse. Okay, so in reverse in a sense, like what 10 to 1 you can uh, 10 9 8 thing is reverse. But what happened into they want okay without using reverse. Then what happened? Okay, without using reverse, so remove this reverse keyword instead of i we should use 11 minus i. So in the sense, like what 11 minus 1, 11 minus 2, 11 minus 2. 10, 9, and 6. Instead of, so instead of reverse, remove this reverse keyword. Okay, so I'll write. Okay, so remove this reverse keyword. Okay, instead of i, we should put 11 minus 1. Okay, so 11 minus i. Okay, so i will be keep on increasing 1, 2, 3, 4. 11 minus 1, it will be 10. 11 minus 2, it will be 9. So it will be like, it's an increment level. So you should remember one thing, for every question, you should have at least 2 to 3 answers. 
so that what you can able to search in it so that you can able to crack any type of enter you remember for every question at least you should have two answers to answer. so that what if if enter doesn't satisfy we'll go for other approach okay so this suppose like reverse it doesn't accept now then we will go for remove this reverse instead of okay same thing instead of i we should put 11 minus i so that what one two three will get okay got the point then it has no okay so next question is that what okay so can you perform detailed statements in pls scale block okay detail in the sense like what create alter drop truncate rename okay so you need like okay see can you perform directly detail statements in pls pls will work in the sense like what okay either anonymous block or name blocks anyone so directly it is not possible okay so by using what by using dynamic s okay so one more time so by so in pls scale blocks like anonymous block or name blocks it is not possible to use detail statements okay detail statements is like creation of table alteration of table dropping of table truncation see what happened directly it is not possible so by using what by using dynamic sql that is execute immediate keyword okay see so by using execute immediate keyword we can able to do these things okay directly it is not possible to perform detail statement we should use dynamic that is execute immediate we should put single quote and we need to do the sql detail statement for the quantum so by using dynamic sql only we can able to perform detail statement in a similar fashion understand the next question is that what i have a processor it has thousand lines of code okay i want to find the exact error line okay suppose okay see take suppose like take one processor abc it is having thousand lines of code okay so thousand lines. but i want to find the exact error line okay so see this thing okay now it is not called debug okay each and every line of code because what's the thousand lines in order to okay see so for this purpose what we are having in pls we are having one packet that is dbms utility dot format error backtrace okay so by using this one we can able to easily find the exact error line one more thing so see one more time so what the question is that okay so i want suppose i am having thousand lines of code okay so it is not called debug each and every line because so so much of code is there okay now i want to find something exception occurred so i want to find each like which at at which position the exact occurred so simply what you can say we can go for what so dbms utility so one package is there in this package format error back by using dbms utility dot format error backtrace we can able to get the things done clear as so far so so okay now in a similar fashion what is the question okay see what is the ticketing tool you use see, okay see what happens suppose like some requirement happened to you suppose like requirement came to you okay so to develop some some something like okay like i want to create one table sir i want to alter some column to the particular table okay then what happened okay this is a requirement okay so requirement where we will go for we will go for jira this is a ticketing tool okay so jira is very very important okay this is one of the relation tools so jira ticketing tool we can able to get the things done okay so okay this is important okay so we'll get everything like user stories okay bugs so everything will be there so that we can able to track all the things in this jira okay so ticketing tool is nothing but what here jira will use most okay for the point of so as a developer you should know all the things okay as a database developer you should know the things okay jira is a ticketing tool in a similar fashion what is the question nine okay what blocks are there in pls okay yeah, so this is important okay so So if you know like basics, okay, PLS class nothing but our processor language extension to structured query language. Okay, in PLS class everything will be in blocks. Okay, so it's a anonymous block and a named block. Okay, see anonymous block in the sense like what they don't have any name. This will have name will be there. Okay, so there won't be any storage. This is only for one time purpose. And this is what one time creation and multiple time execution. Got the point? Um, so anonymous block and a named blocks. So, okay, see anonymous block they don't have name. It will have. Name. What the point? Uh, these are basic. Okay, so remember when you are learning any type of things, no, start with basic knowledge. Okay, so you should basic should be strong. Okay, and in a similar fashion, what is the question? Okay, some predefined exceptions. Okay, so like okay, exceptions are nothing but what abnormal termination of any program. At the runtime, we are getting any error. So that's nothing but what exceptions. Okay, now what is the requirement? Okay, requirement said. Okay, so I want to name any five predefined exceptions. Okay, so in real time also I'll use. Or in the intro, compulsory the question is there. Okay, so we need to name define one like three to four predefined exceptions. Okay, see no data found exception, too many rows, zero divide error. Okay, cards are already open, so invalid cards. You should know like when will get no data found, too many rows, zero divide cards are already open. Okay, see one more time. Okay, see some predefined exceptions are what no data found. Okay, too many rows. Okay, so these are for coming from. Into class, okay. Into class, okay. So into class, okay. When you are doing into class, okay. In a similar fashion, what zero divided? Okay. When you are dividing by anything by zero, ten by zero, what happens? You zero divided. In a similar fashion, what 
cursor already open okay when you try to open what cursor already there. see the cursor is already open when you try to open one more time say cursor already all open so invalid cursor invalid cursor in the sense like what suppose okay without without opening the cursor i have fetched the record then it will show error okay so this is like okay so we should know explanation of this thing at least three to four x three to four predefined exception so interval like can you define okay what exactly it is okay no data upon too many rows zero divide cursor all open invalid cursor okay got it huh? Okay, if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.